Well, guys, I think I've got a little bird point right here. And we have found, let me get it in the frame, I looked up tons of pottery on this bank, but we found hardly any arrowheads. So let me see if I can get some of this stuff out of here. Look at this. It's everywhere on this bank. We probably got 75 to 100 pieces like this that we found. And it's crazy that we're finding this much pottery. We're finding flakes, but we're not finding any arrowheads. And then I come across this piece here, which kind of looks like a birdie. But these pieces of pottery are really cool. We've got some with the lip on the top of them. My backpack is heavy from all the uh, pottery we found. So if we find anything else, we'll bring it to you guys. Okay, guys, my baby just found of a pot here that had broke. Let's see here. Look at that, guys. That's a really big piece. And then all these pieces here, she lifted it up and they went to it. That is beautiful. It's almost like they had a manufacturing area down here to make pottery. As that's all we're finding. Babe, I don't know how we're going to get that home since it's starting to crack and keep it together. Oh, my Lord. Yeah, here's a piece over here, babe, right here. And it's super, super fragile. I mean, it's super fragile. So. Unbelievable. So cool. Unbelievable. That's my first. Big piece of a pot. Wow. Maybe we can get it in your bag and it not break. Possible. I don't know. My bag's full, though. All right, guys. We found anything else, we'll bring it. Guys, my baby just spotted this and pointed it out so I could do a video. Check this out. Thin. Let's find something else. I mean, you can just about look anywhere in these rocks and find broken pottery. It is unbelievable. I'm finding so much, I'm just thinking I could probably look around here for a second and find a piece. We had found so much. And of course, it's probably going to make a liar out of me, but it's everywhere. I don't see any right here. So anyway, found somebody. Like right here, guys. Look. Yeah, it's a piece of pottery. Yeah. Just kind of looking around to see if I could see another piece just to show everybody how much is here. All right, here, guys, check this out. Look right here. You can see I just lifted that up. It's everywhere. Ain't that weird? Yeah. It's like a, almost like a preform. Uh huh. They was making that. Whoa, I just dropped dropped it. 
see if we can get some live action here. thinking I'd find another piece. Okay, guys, if we find anything else, we'll bring it. All right, guys, just wanted to show you what we found today. We actually went down and found a place that was littered with Indian pottery. Uh, we found a bunch of pieces today. It was everywhere we looked. Looks like flowers, reeds that went up here with leaves that come off of it or something. That was a piece that uh, we didn't find another piece that had this design in it. But that was a pretty cool piece right there. We found a ton of it. Let me move this slide a little bit closer. couple of arrowheads today. She found a nice bird point. I'll show you something that she found here in just a second, which is one of the coolest things I've seen in a while. Hold on just one second, babe, and I'll show them the bird point you found. Found a little birdie here, which was really pretty. Awesome little piece. Another little piece here, it's crude made off a of flake. But I don't know if you could even consider that a point or not. But I picked it up. We were having such a bad day when it came to Flint that uh, I decided to pick it up anyway. And I found this little thumb scraper here. It's been worked on the sides a little bit. Found a fishing plug today. Go ahead and turn it around there. So we found this piece here. She's like, oh, I found something cool. On well, that pot, it's the biggest piece that uh, I had seen in quite a while. And the cool thing is all the rest of this came from the same pot. So now we've got a jigsaw puzzle. Yeah, turn that piece over. There we go. Let's see here. Sorry, guys. So we're going to try to piece this thing back together the best we can. And hopefully we can actually get it put halfway back together or three quarters of the way back together. But I'm not too sure that we can actually do that. But we'll try, see what we can come up with. And guys, if uh, anyone has heard of what type of glue or epoxy that you would use for Indian pottery, let us know because I don't want to go ahead and use the wrong thing to put it together. We want to do it right. But that's all we found today. And uh, we just wanted to say, hope you guys have a, Good time when you go out on your next trip. And babe, what was you wanting to tell them? Oh, I just wanted to say that, um, you know, when we started our channel, we started our channel because we loved hunting arrowheads and hunting artifacts. And, you know, we are not the most educated people about artifacts um, and arrowheads. And we are totally okay with that. But, I did become quite offended this morning because 
I'm the type of person that, you know, every everyone has their own opinion about something. And just because you have your opinion and I have mine and they may be different, doesn't mean that we can't just agree to disagree and move on. Um, so I just wanted to say that we're not going to use our channel to debate what's right, what's wrong. Um, we're open to education about about things that we may not know about, but you know, we have kids that are subscribed to our channel and we definitely do not want to get on the channel and start arguing with people in the mm. comment section. Well, that's, and that's right. We don't want to do that. That's not what it's about, guys. It's about showing other people what you found and having a positive attitude and enjoying what you do. And uh, we don't want to end up uh, getting into it with other uh, people who are subscribed to our channel or whatever. So, you okay. know, if you don't like the video, um, you know, all you got to do is go on to the next video. And, you know, I don't get on other people's channel and tell them that, well, I think they're wrong about this or wrong about that. So pretty much if, you know, you don't agree with something that's said, you know, we've got kids that watch the channel. So the best thing to do is just go ahead and, you know, look at the next video. Um, if we end up having any problems, we're just going to go ahead and mute the person from the channel. That way it's we don't have to deal with kids. it. It's not only our kids. We've got a lot of family on here, too. And, I mean, we are very family-oriented. Um, and, like he said, we just do this for fun. Our kids love that we do this. Sometimes they go with us and do this. Sometimes it's just he and I. But, you know, we do this because we enjoy it. And... It's something positive on social media rather than all the negativity you see. So I just don't understand why we all can't encourage each other to go out and have a good hunt and be friendly without getting into a big debate about who's right and who's wrong. And that's about all I wanted to say. And I thank you so much for subscribing and um liking our videos and commenting on our videos i know tim gets you know a real good kick out of commenting back and forth to 365 headhunter and some of the other ones larry drew it and on ontario rockhound you know there's more but i just i don't know them all he's more about all of his subscribers but you know we just we appreciate you guys and we love watching everything you post as well so Mm -hmm. well guys like i say let's keep it clean and we'll respect you if you respect us and uh till next time hopefully uh we'll get to go in a few days and bring some more stuff and uh you guys have a good day see you